Alrighty then. <laughs> Come on, we gotta leave your house. Okay. Hopefully we find her parents. I don't think we'll ever find her parents though, to be honest. Alright. I said stay close to me! Alright? Come on, dude. Walk a little faster. You're going towards a garbage can. Oh, hey, there's people! They aren't zombies. Sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Let's go to the gate. Hey, buddies. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Should I stay or should I, don't I go? I sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'm sorry, they're not coming home. I won't leave you though. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Got you. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. We need help. Alright. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 Whew. years back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. <laughs> you shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Oh, Sean noticed what I said. Uh oh. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, did I even tell him my name? How am I doing that with a hurt leg? How did I do that? <laughs> Jump in the back, bro. What are you those guys? Neighbors too? Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. He knew I wasn't a neighbor. No. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh yeah, the farm. Better be safe, bro. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. See you later. I don't even know that guy's name. Where does he even live? He's gonna walk that far? Thank God you're okay. Marshall. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. I reckon down the way things of mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Jack. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You brought a couple guests. Hello, sir. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Yeah, boy. Then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You. Take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. 
He's going to notice something. He's going to bring it up. He's going to be like, I know you're not a neighbor, bro. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Never said my name. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, it's Herschel, not Marshall. How'd Stop. this happen? <sighs> Let's see. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nope. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Thank you. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. He said daughter? No. You've been through Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, cover your mouth, bro. I sound like Marshall. <laughs> your son is right. Your son's <laughs> right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Sorry, man, I can't. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Leave we got plenty of chores as it is. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Oh, damn. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, dude. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't you're probably dealing with an infection. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> we'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no thanks. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. Thank There's you. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Thank you, Herschel. Oh, there's the other family up there. I think that's the hillbilly guy. Shit. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> when a horse plops? <laughs> ah, horse plop. My mom and dad. Aww. This music is so nice. Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh God, I hope nothing happens. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty scary stuff. He's having nightmares. I want to know what what's his backstory. I hope we figure that out. I want to know what exactly happened to get him in this situation. Oh, whoa! What's up, dude? Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. Ew. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Shut up. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Ooh. Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah, boy. Sure, we'll tag along. 
It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. Oh, I should have asked Clementine. Name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Thank well, you. We should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and what? I hop to it. There's something I've noticed. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I've noticed something with the text. Each color, like... Mine is, uh, what is, uh, what, uh, uh, blue or something? Clementine's is like, let's see, Clementine's is like light blue. Hers is orange. Hey there, girl. Or mine's white, yeah. Um. To actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. See? Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh. Orange-ish. It's easy. Well, yeah. purple-ish. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? So, Alright. What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? First grader, I'm Clementine. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Damn. We need to hope that we can go back to our job soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. <laughs> Sadly, it is going to stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Catcha. Right. Okay, Lee. So, Orange, and then, uh. I don't know this guy's name. Is it Stan or, or something like that? Boo. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Kenny, it's Kenny. Need any help? And his is no, I think green. Got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? I want to get to know them more. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Got you, Kenny, man. We're a good family. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. That's Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Oh. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. So Katya's a veterinarian, helps animals, and he catches fish. Eats animals, I guess. Alright, so we're gonna go check these people out. Oh, there's a wishing well. I wanna go do that. Hey, buddy! Let's look at the tractor. Drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> hey, duck! For Sorry for telling you to shut up. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. I got you, bro. I'll cut those two bys real good. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Aww. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. 
Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Yeah, I have. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. It is, honestly. How How's your family? Um... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, no, yeah. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Hopefully it's not too bad. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Alright, where else do I need to go? And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, hey. you see my dad around. He might want some help in the barn. Oh, that's where I need to go. Barn. Oh, God. I'm gonna get a rant from Herschel. He's gonna be like, So I know you're not a neighbor, and I know you were in that car car just because, uh, you look like a criminal. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I told you, cop car. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Huh. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> yeah, it was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yeah. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. I hope so too. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yep. I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked. And being attacked and she came to my rescue. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, are you yeah, doubting me? Sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun. 